हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज अश्वि प्रताप सिंह वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल कोड कैटी सो द मेन मोटिव ऑफ दिस वीडियो इज टू क्रिएट अ जेसन बेस्ड फॉर्म इंस्टेड ऑफ यूजिंग रेगुलर जेएसएक्स ओके एंड द फॉर्म व्हिच यू कैन सी राइट नाउ इज द फॉर्म व्हिच वी क्रिएटेड इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वेयर वी क्रिएटेड दिस फॉर्म यूजिंग रिएक्ट हुक फॉर्म सो वी आर जस्ट कंटिन्यूइंग द होल प्रोसेस ओके सो लेट्स मूव टू द कोड सो हियर यू कैन सी we have we are having this interface which uh, contains the these are uh, types like first name last name email and password then we are having this schema validation uh, okay and this schema is going to be passed inside this use form that is based on react hook form okay and after that uh, we submitted the data and the whole data is being uh, consoled here and we can remove this because that was just part of a uh, demo okay and here you can see we are having this form inside this form we are having this field so we have made it generic uh, field component if i'll show you uh, so you can see here we are having this component where we are passing the controls and the name and the label and the errors and based on that react hook form we are having this controller and inside this controller we are we are passing this name control and rendering our input okay so simply we are just we have just created this form okay and if i'll click on here then you can see i'm having this validation uh and if i'll uh just show uh this responsiveness then you can find it out so just styling this is based on uh tailwind okay so right now you can see i'm having this field thing again and again i'm writing jsx right so what i want i want to create a form using a json data instead of writing the jsx okay so for that what i have done i have created a component called form builder here inside the molecules so if i'll show you a little bit of the things uh, so here you can see i'm having this component where i have declared few of the types kits so just let's go one by one so here you can see i'm having this uh, example of json so what I, i'm going to do i'm going to pass a array of object like this and it will create a form for us okay for example uh, the one object will contain the type of uh, my input so uh, right now we are uh, only have two types those are text and password you can have more like uh, drop down then check box and all okay so right now we are just uh, for just demoing the things uh, we are having this these two types only because they are so simple okay now for a field for a one field uh, the the interface will be look like i field will be like name label and the type okay let, uh, same here you can see imagine the things uh, from here okay and the required you can also add so like this boolean okay so why required so let's say if you are having field those are mandatory like, like you can see here all the fields are mandatory so i want to show user x trick uh sign so that's why is requ this required field is being added okay now what i want i want to have this um uh, component which we just called i form builder okay like this and the types uh, of props it contains are fields and the array of fields so whatever we have discussed so you can see here this is array okay array and which contains a one field okay and the type of one field is i field that's why this is called array of fields okay now on submit you can you can simply uh, understand on submit means uh, whenever we are submitting the data that's called on submit okay and this is form and this form is uh, majorly we are using from the react hook form so uh, you can see here this is my library called react hook form and here uh, we imported use form and from there we ha we are having this uh, code okay let's remove this if i'll show you so this is the thing we are using and if i'll go to documentation then also uh, you can find out all the things from this place also okay if you really want to understand what is react hook form then you can check out our old video okay so let's come back here and see and uh, so that's how this whole thing is working now what we want we want to create a form using array of json data okay so let's start 
so uh, what we want to do first we want to create a uh, form okay and inside this uh, we are having fields component so we are going to use this itself okay so how will it, uh, will we do this so let's start so here what we'll write first uh, so to pass the data around my each and every component what i want i want to use the context provider uh, by this uh, react hook form so how we'll write this so first of all we'll import it uh, like this form provider from react hook form and then we'll write form provider like this and just add this then we are having this form okay from uh, normal uh, html okay then what we want if we'll uh, instruct this props so how it will look like let's see so what are the things I just want to show you props and the score props not props and there you can see I'm having these fields so actually I'm going to use this field that is array okay so let's use this fields dot map so we are going to map through each and every field okay and there I'm having this field one field okay now what I want I want to access my this field component so i've already imported here you can see this one and i'll import it like this and just use this and i just want to pass or spread each and every value here so these value contains what name label type required so i'll pass it here like this now i'm getting errors that we are having this control and errors okay so let's go there and fix uh, before this I just want to uh, use this form actually this this uh, form provider requires a values okay so inside this if I'll open up then here I'm having this form and one more thing on submit okay so what I want I want to provide this hook details to this so like this I'll pass cool now what more things i have to do like inside this form if i'll show you this code then you can see i'm having this form and I, I just need to use the handle submit from this hook which is like this so you can see this use form will return this handle submit and inside this i have to pass the on submit method so i'll do the same so from this form okay i'll say on submit first like this and then form dot handle submit and inside this i'll pass this on submit okay cool now uh why i'm getting this error okay no uh, it was just uh, because of loading okay so let's fix this error so come back to this field component okay now right now you can see i need control and this errors okay so why we used uh, this form provider i'll show you the use right now so uh, whenever we are having this form provider then we don't need to pass the things using uh, the props so this react hook form provide itself a few things and few, few apis actually so if i show you here then you can see uh, click on this one and you'll find this use form context okay click on this and the way you you have to import it so it's easy uh, from this uh, react hook form you can say use form context okay and we'll use the same here and call it and then here you'll find each and everything which is required this controls okay then we have requirement of this errors okay then i'll say errors and so that is part of form state actually not directly so that's why we'll use it like this okay save it and then we have we don't require them as a prop so we'll remove this like this save it then we can re remove this thing this thing this thing and one more thing uh, i need that is required check right we have discussed that so boolean i'll add and Boom. so if you are not using typescript then it's okay to not declare and then you'll also not uh, get this these type of suggestions itself so that's why i'm using typescript so so that uh, if any other developer is going to read my code uh, then it will be really helpful for him okay 
so we'll pass this required here and here uh, it is saying like this so i'll add okay any so yeah it's done so let's go on through this thing again so here you can see i'm having this form builder inside this form builder i am having this context and inside the concept context of this form provider i have just passed all the details from the use form hook okay like this and inside this form tag i am having this fields and we have iterated through each and every field and make sure to add the key like this okay and Said this we'll get this index for now and we'll pass it like this and add field dot name because name is the thing which is going to be uh, unique every time okay so that's why I'm using name so now it's done let's call this function so now you can see I'm having these errors so what I want I want to, uh, to just remove all the things whatever we are using right now so i'll remove the whole form or i'll comment it so that we'll review what we have done so now if i'll pass this this component here like form builder like this and save it and now what are the things uh, that is required so you can see i'm having this missing things so i'll add them so control space then the first thing that is form so form is uh is a, this use form okay so right now it's in a destructed format that's why i'll call it like use form like this then call this goes to form okay and just pass it like this cool const and i've called it now what i have to do i have to pass uh, this form here like this now uh, Control is not required for handle submit is not required and errors is also not required. <laughs> actually none of them is required so I'll remove all the things and on submit is required so uh, I'll show you how so if I click here and write on submit then we can pass the same on submit here right like this cool and few more things those are required here that is fields okay and fields is the thing we have discussed so what I want, I want to create a JSON like this fields. Okay. So let, let's remove this from here. First, we'll create from here so that I'll zoom it and just close this. So what I want, I want to write each and every field. Okay. So let's predefine this first. And if I'll write it here and so this is one array inside this array uh, there is one object okay and if i click uh, this control space then you, you can see i'm getting suggestions the first thing i'll say the name so first uh, place i'm having uh, this first name okay so i'll say first name then i'm having uh, this one more thing that is label so i'll say first name like this then what more then we have requirement of type so that is normal text and is required i'll say true so let's save this and few errors i'm having this button is being okay button has been removed so i'll use this here save it so you can see so i have to fix css little bit Card body. So card content, I think. Yeah, card content. And so this card content, I'll paste whole thing like this. Save it. Now you can see uh, I got this form like this. Now if we need few more fields, then we'll copy and paste and that is last name and that is last name again save it and other field is come and uh, similar manner i'll paste few more then um, i need email so i'll write email and label is email the email then i need password password okay cool and here also i need password like this and the type is password so if i'll control uh okay 
label type is not uh, recommending so for this what we can do you can see here i have written it as a string so instead of this i what i'll say that contains text and other thing is password like this save it and come back and hit control space then you can see i got the suggestion so in a similar ma manner i'll say confirm password like this and this one is confirm password again right then if i'll do again control space then i got the suggestion save it then you can see i got the whole form using this json okay like this i'll show you again uh, i'll scroll a little bit then yeah you can see i got whole form using the json so uh, if i'll click here and come back hit enter okay, let's add the data like this so you can see I, i'm getting this uh, error that email is not invalid like this password this password so okay so right now uh, i found one thing that my handle submit is not working right so why because this is out of my form right so for this what i can do i can have one more thing called children okay and it is type of react node like this cool and if i'll get it from inside this and after the form what i want i want to add this children save it now what i'll do and that is not mandatory we we'll made make it not mandatory thing like this oh sorry the, the part of our form builder only like this and let's make it this save it cool. so let's import this and format the document cool now error has gone now what i'll do i'll copy this thing and add inside this form builder like this save it now refresh click on this now you can see i got the validation error and if you don't want to do this then there is one more way uh, you are having different methods from this then you can uh, call them directly but i'll recommend uh, use the same process okay so that's how uh, things work uh, now if you want few more things like uh, drop down and checkbox and radio button then you can configure the whole thing inside this field uh, and uh, write the condition that if the type is uh, this then return the same component let's say i'm having one more field then i'll write a condition here that if the ty type of my uh, component is uh drop down then i'll return uh drop down component instead of this thing okay and if you are having uh fields in, like a, a grouping type of fields like first name and last name should be in a single row that can then you can uh, play with css okay so this is the way uh we can create this so if you really enjoyed the video and uh, then please hit like button and subscribe to our channel thank you